What is going on guys, Tiswafa here, and welcome back to some more Stardew Valley. As you can see, it's 2 p.m. right now, and, and, and I really want to hurry up with some of the stuff that I'm doing, or I'm trying to do here, before the event today, the big event. It's probably going to be over here in the mail, right? Uh, oh no, this is something completely different. Okay, this is from Marnie. Uh, which, by the way, remember, we do have a mission now from Marnie to give her, what was it called? Cave carrots, I think? I looked at the footage, and yeah, I know where the cave carrots are. I think I put them in the foraging items chest, so let's definitely remember that maybe later on this episode, uh, tomorrow in game. Give that to her tomorrow. So definitely want to remember that. But we have another thing from uh, Marnie right here. Dear neighbor, when I'm not taking care of animals, I like to experiment in the kitchen. Since we've become friends, I want to share some recipes with you. I hope you like this. Marnie. And she gave us a cooking recipe for pale broth, which is actually good because remember, now our house is actually upgraded now, which is great. I did also get some comments. And by the way, I'm pausing a lot because I don't want the time to kind of go while I'm yapping over you, right? But the, the, the physical like outside of our house did change because look at like two episodes ago or whatever. You will see it. It is changed, but now we can go over here and actually get some uh, get some cooking done if we have the right ingredients, right? So definitely want to get that done, you guys. Uh, start experimenting around with some of that stuff. Uh, also, between this episode and last episode, uh, I did, you know, water all the crops, went through the, uh, the mushroom cave over there, took care of the chickens and whatnot, and cut down a few trees. So now we actually have the ingredients to get another preserves jar. And, uh, you know, while watering all the crops over here, I did make sure to, you know, keep putting wood inside the kiln over there to get more and more coal. So we're up to 11 right now, and... Uh, now we can make another preserves jar, so boom. We have three of them right now. We had two of them just a minute ago. We have three of them now, which is great because we do have more pumpkins to put inside there and get pickled pumpkins out of and get $690 out of, which is going to be great. Going to make some great money here, you guys. Uh, then 20 hardwood, and that's, yeah, okay, that's for the oil maker. Uh, I don't know if I want to make that just yet, and then the mayonnaise, we already have that. Cheese press. Yeah, we're going to have to wait until we get cows for that. I don't know if there's anything else I want to make before. I want a staircase. I don't, I don't know if I want to do that. And then I could transmute as well. Oh, yeah. Speaking of uh, iron right there, I do want to actually turn my... Oh, I don't have enough money. I might be able to sell some stuff real quick to try and get enough money for that. Uh, but I do I do want to upgrade my axe to a uh, an iron one or a silver one or whatever, right? So let's definitely do that. Let's go inside here real quick. Let's go see if we can grab uh, five iron bars. Uh, let's see. Where is that? Here we go. Uh, there's nine and five. I might be able to sell Clint some stuff himself, which is going to be good. So... What do I want to sell him? What can't I'm like, I have a few amethysts here. We can actually check how much we get per amethyst solar essence. But, you know, because we have so much of it, I, I think I'm pretty comfortable selling a few of them. Maybe I'll get like I'll get five. I'll sell. I'm comfortable selling five of them to Clint. So there you go. It's 230 right now. Still, let's get another pumpkin here. So there you go. And then uh, what I want to do is immediately get out of this. It's 240 right now. And I, I need to head over there like immediately. So uh, sell him the amethyst and then upgrade the axe. So there's that. And then we have the five iron bar. Okay, yeah, we should do that. I think it's 5,000 to upgrade to iron. So let's, let's definitely do that. Already got a bunch of tree cutting down. So we have a little bit of wood right there in case we want to craft anything else. We have 76, which is great. Uh, so let's actually head out now. Place this thing down outside with a, uh, a pumpkin. Uh, boom. And a pumpkin. Boom. Okay, I can move that later. It's not that big of a deal. <laughs> let's just head over there right now. And then what I want to do is after we go to Clint's, let's go straight up north to uh oh wait can i go this way yeah oh my gosh i knew it i can't go over there to clint's because of the event's going on today man and he like there's like no way around it. he's in town so i do have to actually wait until tomorrow because this is where the spirits eve event is happening man all right well I, I guess we can just go north then huh to go uh to continue with that grub mission remember last episode we actually got a lot of really good product i think we started out last episode with what 16 grubs killed or something like that and uh we got all the way up to 42 which is amazing all we have to do now is kill eight we could probably do that like right now we had a really good strategy and by the way last episode made two taps right there for the uh, oak tree which is amazing i think i missed out on one chicken here let's see no i didn't it must have been the white chicken that i or not that one but another white chicken that i missed out on so whoops i uh, definitely want to keep track of them so i don't move or uh, miss out on them right but let's go up here i believe up here we should be able to pass through i have a decent amount of energy right now i'll grab that though he's on that just for the road, just in case I need that, right? Uh, but let's see. Yes, okay, so I can go over here, so that's good. So let's get the dagger out. Let's get the uh, the, the worm head or the, the bug head or whatever this is. <laughs> get this ready to start killing a bunch of uh, little maggot, disgusting creatures and stuff like that, right? Also, yeah, we have a dry starfish. We got that from the uh, from the beach last episode. We do need to use that, uh, give that to Gunther. But once again, he's in town, so I can't, uh, can't do anything there. Let's go to level 15 like we did uh, last episode. We had a lot of luck the second time around. Oh, and we have a diglet right there trying to kill us. 
Uh, get rid of that slime. At least get out of the way. There you go. Any, any maggots down here? Nothing. I don't see anything. Nothing up there. Okay, let's leave. Go up the, go, go up the ladder, go up to level zero, then come back down to level 15, and then just kind of repeat that process. Remember, the spirit, oh, what, wait, what, where did I just go right there? Oh, I went to level five. Whoops. Uh, but there you go. Actually, I don't know if I can go to level five and then go back to 15. I don't know if that would reset it, but I think going to level zero should be a good hard, like, look at this, this environment itself physically looks different, which is good. Big boulders and stuff up there. Nothing still, man, do I want to, I don't know what my luck is today, by the way. I don't know if I want to risk breaking some of the rocks and stuff here to try and find the way down. I might go to level 20, actually. Let's do that. I think I think I might open up a little bit bigger. Let's see. And have a more opportunity. Ah, uh, no, not really. Not really. Let, let's go back. Yeah, leave the mine. There you go. Then go back down. To, golly, I feel like I'm wasting so much time here. Golly. 15. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, uh, there you go. There's one. So we're at 43. If we, there you go. Boom. We're at 43. Awesome. Good progress so far. I don't know if there's any more down here. I need to can't see with a hot bar in the way. No, there's a rock crab, though. I can kill him. Boom. We go, okay, we got another rock. There you go. Boom. We got him. Nice. And we got a cherry bomb as well. Okay. You know what? Definitely want to use that. If we, if we come across like three maggots all together, definitely want to throw a casual bomb at them. <laughs> Just because we haven't used the bombs very often, right? So let's see. Oh, yeah. There's a few of them right there. Okay. You know what? You know what? Oh, yeah. Look at this. There you go. Boom. Literally boom. Literally boom. There you go. Nice. Got a few more. I hope that counted towards me. I hope that... Oh, no! Aw, oh, man, he's transforming. Golly. All right, well, I guess we'll get the dagger ready for when he... Boom! Got a nice crit. And, uh, oh, didn't get a uh, kill, though. Oh, there you go. And let's see if we can get a... Ah, oh, man, I missed out on that one. Okay, there you go. We got him there. Remember, killing that one does not count. What are we up to now? 46. Four more, and then we're good to go. And go. Oh, wow, we have multiple crabs over here attacking us. Wow. Look at that. Boom. Got that one down. Nice. Any more? Oh, wow. Oh, man, four of them. Okay. Definitely want to use the bug's head against these guys because they're all grouped together. Awesome. And the way down. I think we just need one more. Look at this, you guys. Boom. Boom. We got the mission. We got the heckin' special request mission. Forget about you. I'm leaving, Hater. Let's go. Let's heckin' go. <laughs> I don't know. I might, I, might, I might just stay here for a little while. A little, little, little while. Oh, wow. Another uh, way down right there. Uh, try and find mixed seeds and whatever else over here. I don't know if I could use mixed seeds during the uh, the winter uh, like season or anything like that, but I'm like, it's, yeah, see, look at that. I'm getting some mixed seeds that are on the left side, but, you know, it, it's still worth it to break all this, so that's good. Uh, still a couple hours until the Spirit's Eve event at 10 p.m., so I'm just I'm basically just uh, spending a little bit of time. Actually, you know what? You know what I could do? Let, let's try and go down a few layers if I can. Can I do that? Let's go down to 60. Can I survive down to level 65? I don't know. And wow, look at all this stuff here, you guys. Holy heck. If anything, at least... Uh, oh, wow. Aquamarine. Aquamarine. Really interesting stuff there, you guys. Try and kill all these little, little, little... Like, whatever these things are. Ugh, these At least these things drop coal, don't they? I think they do, yeah. Uh, but I do need to go down. I think the level 70 gives us... Was it fire quartz and whatever else? And I think level 80 gives us skeletons. Or maybe level 80 also gives us gold. I think, yeah, I think level 80 does start giving us gold. I'm trying to remember someone's comment there where they're like helping me out with like what starts spawning at what levels and stuff like that, right? But oh wow, a coffee bean! That's something you guys were saying. Hey, definitely want to try and get that in the caves. Boom, just got it right there. And hey, yeah, let's also try and find more geodes and stuff. There's a frozen a frozen tier right there. Amazing. As long as I spam here, I should and we found the way down. Awesome. So let, let's just kill these guys right here. I don't know if there's anything else around here. Oh, no. Another way down right there. Awesome. Usually there's like crates and stuff up here. Yeah, there's not right there at least. But uh, I'll get this iron right there. Boom. Three iron ore. That's great. We could almost get another ingot right there, honestly. Let's keep going down. Try and get... And wow, we have another way down right there. Should I just go there? Because it's 9 p.m. right now. 64. Yeah, okay. So if we... if we Oh, and there's a ghost right there. Man. Uh, I hate the ghost, but I might be able to use the dagger. Oh, there you go. Do some good damage to him. And spam against him, but he 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 goes back far, and you're not really able to attack him for a little while, you know. I might I might try and find the way down here in just a minute, just because it's, it's 9:30 right now. We have until 11:50, I believe, to do the Spirit Thief event. Man, this guy is not gonna. Oh man, I faced the wrong way right there. Whoops. There you go. There's another hit right there. Let's see if I can get him with this. Ah oh, man, he's not dead still. Holy heck! All right, let's just break some more stuff over here if I can. Oh man, this, yeah, see, look at that, the Spirit's Eve event has started. There we go, we got a heckin' uh, solar essence or whatever that is. Oh, nice, okay. We did, we made it to 65, awesome. We made some great progress, you guys. Anything down here? I'm not seeing anything right off the bat. Let's leave, let's go. So let's go to Pelican Town. 
And let's start this heckin' event, you guys. I did get some comments from guys saying there's supposed to be, like, some sort of event, like, like, games. Actually, did I? Was that in comment? I think I read that actually in-game. I think, uh, Mayor Lewis or someone told us, or maybe, uh, the Weather Channel or whatever told us, uh, that there's supposed to be, like, games and stuff like that. Just like the fall event earlier on in the month, right? Alright, so this is supposed to be, like, some sort of Halloween event, right? We can go over here and buy something from Pierre, of course. Another rare crow! Ooh, I don't have enough money for that, though. Jack-o'-lanterns, I can buy five of those for 750. That's good decoration, I like that, I like the look of that. But I can get the recipe for two that golly! Gravestone for 350, but the thing is, is that it's the end of the season, so... I have to wait until next season to actually use these as decoration, right? And then there's a rare crow right there. I don't know how I can get- oh wait, hold on. Oh, I was about to pull up the mint, no, I don't think I can- Yeah, I don't think you can get money from that, dude. No, I think you do. I think you do get money from the, uh, the, the bigger, the special quests and stuff. So if I, if I actually clicked on that and got the reward money from that, I might have been able to afford the rare crow. Come on! We have what, three of them right now? Two or three of them? We have like a wizard, we have like a snowman? I think we have two of them actually, yeah. So, and they're supposed to- Oh man, look at that, there's like caged up skeletons. Ugh, disgusting. Eh. <laughs> yeah, I definitely want to talk to everyone over here as well. Sebastian, I have no idea how these skeletons are walking. Creepy, I know. What are their bones even attached to? Just just floating together or something like that? It's pretty cool, though. I agree, it's pretty cool. I haven't seen them yet, though. Uh, maybe this guy's actually going to introduce us to them. Marlin, don't get too close to the cage. Ugh. This must be your spooky display there, huh, Marlin? Probably captured all those skeletons from the caves and whatnot. Eek! I'm too scared! <laughs> That was a weird combination of like a high pitched voice and then like a low pitched voice. <laughs> Hi, Waffle. Have you had a productive fall? Yes, I have. I got a lot done and some more to be done tomorrow on the last day of fall. I'm going to get a bunch of pumpkins, going to get a bunch of uh, bok choy, and uh, probably some other stuff. I don't know. And, and of course, just generally preparing for winter, right? So that's going to be really cool. It's starting to get quite cold. Corrupts won't hold out for much longer. Yeah. Definitely, hopefully, we're going to get a lot of pumpkins tomorrow and hopefully get up to the five gold star that we need for the quality crops bundle. And uh, then we'll be halfway done. We already gave it five gold corn like a while ago. So getting five gold pumpkin on that and getting halfway done after the first year. Don't mind if I do, right? But Aunt Marnie, I want to go in the maze. I'm not scared. Ah. Wait, hold on. Is there anything else? Yeah, see, I want to click on everyone multiple times just in case there's multiple conversation. And I can't talk to Pierre casually, can I? Yeah, I, I, he can only you only talk to him to actually buy something. So let's see. Oh, wait, no, this is the maze. Ooh, hold on. What are you What are you doing over here, Maru? I think I've already been this way. No, wait. All right, should we do this maze here? I think I think someone commented. Oh, is this? Okay, this is Harvey. I was about to say, like, is that like a like a like a like a scarecrow or something like that right there? Oh, you found me. Oh, the truth is, I got too scared, so I came here to hide. Don't tell anyone. Well, thanks for telling me. Thankfully, I won't tell anyone, right, Maru? <laughs> Hold on, there's a jack o' lantern over here. Is there something I can do with this? Can I get spooked by it? Oh wow, look at that big, like, spider. Oh man, it's like a big mama spider up there too. And there's Abigail over there. Can't do anything with that, uh... Oh wait, yeah, look at this, I just went around in a circle right there. I didn't notice that. Ugh, look at all the hands coming out over here. Ugh. Do I just avoid it? Like, what happens if I get, like, grabbed by it? Oh, nothing. Okay. <laughs> Alright, well that's good, I guess, huh? Oh, and there's like a spooky haunted TV right there. Ugh. Why is it changing channels on its own? <laughs> what is this? Who is it? Oh, is this, uh, Penny? It is! The vapor from this cauldron, it's making my head spin, but I can't seem to leave. Oh, you've been hypnotized by the wicked spell of the witch. <laughs> oh wait, there's a chest! Wait, how do we get to that chest? Yeah, it, it's just closed on all sides instead of there. Do I have to go... Wait, where is that? Yeah, where are we right now? If that's a community center... What is that? Is that like a secret entrance or something like that from... Like Robin's house is like part of the- oh wait no, it must be this right here, right? You go through this and then you come around. Hold on. So what happened- oh wait, no! I was about to say, like, you do- you do go into there because there's like arrows pointing up, but no, that's just headstones and I guess it's supposed to be like a symbol or someone- I don't know, like an axe or something? I don't know. Either way, see other people around here, including Abigail and uh, someone else. I can't remember who that was. Who was that up here? Oh, we have Alex. What about the TV though? Can I do anything with that? No. No, it's just kind of hauntily going into static. There's something weird over here, but how do I get to it? Yeah, the big chest over there with a bunch of like red glowing blinking eyes in the background too. Ew, that's scary. <laughs> Spooky. What's going on up here? Oh wait, was that Alex or is that Alex? Who's that guy? I forgot what his name is. Whoops. <laughs> I think that is Alex right there. Uh, Abigail. I can't go on. <laughs> Spiders. <laughs> Want me to squish them for you, Abigail? Because I will. I'll do Oh wait, I'll have a... 
Yeah, you can't use your weapons here. Ugh. Oh, they even made like spider eggs and stuff over here. Ugh, nasty. Ugh, ugh. It makes my skin crawl. What's going on up here, though? Yeah, just more gray. Okay, so this is the playground right here. Oh, yeah, look at that. There's another entrance right there. I need to look at this again, like whenever, like after the event. Because you go from there to there. That's odd. It's just a dead end up ahead. Yeah, but there's a, there's clearly an entrance right there. I don't know if you can actually see that. This is Sam. Okay, that's good. So I think that other guy was indeed Alex. That's good. And I see uh, I could have sworn there was something or someone ahead of me when I went through the maze, though. Where did they go? I don't know. Did they cheat and go through the bushes? Can you do that? I don't think so. If you can't. Oh, wait, hold on. Question mark. Can you do it here? Oh, ba boom. We found it, you guys. Hold on, does this actually go around? It... Yep, it does. Okay, so is this... And is this how you get to the... Oh, wait, what in the world? Wait, hold on. Is it... Oh, here we go. Oh, hey, look at that! There's a wizard and there's a lioness up there. Can I talk to them? Hold on. I don't think so. Oh, wait, what? I hit a dead end. Hold on. Yeah, where do I go? Oh, wait, no, you just keep going this way. Oh, and there we go! We made it to the chest! Holy heck, you guys. What's in here? A golden pumpkin! Oh my gosh! What is that? Is that worth a lot of money or something like that? I don't know, I hope so! <laughs> you receive the golden, or a uh, golden pumpkin. Oh! And then the chest mysteriously disappeared. <laughs> okay, I wonder if there's anything else like hidden within this area here. Wait, hold on. Yeah, why do I get stuck there? That's so weird. Oh, there you go. Huh. All right. Well, Sam, if you want to go over there and get the loot, well, uh, you have to go this way, but uh, there's no chest over there. I, I already checked. There's no chest. There's no loot. There's nothing over there. So I don't know. Whoever set up this maze completely forgot to put a prize at the very end of it. <laughs> so that kind of sucks. Now, I wonder if there's any more stuff like that, like more uh, secret entrances and stuff. Like maybe that's how you get up to Linus and the wizard. Like maybe you go through a secret entrance. And maybe, yeah, that's actually what uh, Alex was referring to just a second ago. I bet he was like, oh man, there's gotta be a secret entrance into here. But he keeps like, oh wait, I can talk to him again. There's gotta be a secret passage somewhere. Yeah, I, I was, I, I mean, uh, there might be one up ahead if you keep going that way. It's not like I was already there and already looted or anything like that, right, golly? <laughs> All right, well, did we get the maze done over here? I think so. Hold on. I'm just, I'm just checking like every, I'm like, I know there's like nothing else over here anyways, but I'm, I'm checking anyways. And I'm still intrigued about this. Like, it looks like something you can actually go into, but I guess not, huh? Of course, Penny's still mesmerized by the, like, weird smoke or whatever that's coming out of the cauldron. <laughs> Anyways, what else is going on over here, though? Is there, uh, are there, like, other games, other events and stuff like that? Because I do remember someone mentioning a maze. Which I'm like, that maze was pretty, dare I say, amazing. Yeah, I'll leave that in the video. That, that, that was kind of cringe, but it, it kind of fits. Anyways, I guess we can just talk to everyone. What about uh, starting up here so I don't miss out on anyone? Shane, what do you have to say about this? Why is there no more pumpkin ale? I don't know, because uh, I'm growing all the pumpkins and they're not ready until tomorrow. So you can't have pumpkin ale without pumpkins and they're not ready until tomorrow. Anyways, one of my iridium-infused maces would make quick work of these things. Ooh. Actually, yeah, that reminds me. We do need to go up to Marlin over the uh, Adventurer's Guild to try and buy more, like, weapons and maybe armor. I forget if he actually sells that stuff as well. He probably does. If anyone's going to sell, it's probably going to be him. Uh, but you guys have been telling me for the longest time to go buy uh, better weapons and stuff from him. Especially because we've been using the bug head for the longest second time. What about you, Leah? Um, hi. Sorry. Mouthful of blackberries. I know. Actually, didn't you not like... Oh, wait, no, no, no. You did like blackberries, didn't you? Because I, I remember giving you blackberries. You were, like, over by the river or something like that, and I gave them to you. Just because I had tons of them, right? Do you like jack-o'-lanterns? I carved them myself. Yeah, didn't I? G I gave you one, didn't I? I think I gave them. That was, like, a mission to give Emily a, uh, a pumpkin so she could carve it with her daughter. I think so. Yeah, I, I, I very much remember. That was pretty recent, too. Like, one of the last two or three episodes. So that's pretty cool. What about you, Vincent? You having fun? Mother won't let me go in the maze. Huh. <sighs> Oh, I'm like, the maze is pretty spooky. <laughs> a few adults over there are like, already like, like stumped. They don't know where to go. <laughs> what about you, Mayor Lewis? What do you have to say about this? Good evening, Waffle. Have you ventured into the haunted maze? It's quite spooky. Yeah, I, I was just over there. Oh yeah, I need, I need to talk to everyone like multiple times. I, I keep forgetting that. I need to do that. I don't, I don't think it, like, I don't think friendship points, like you can get friendship points during these like special events or anything like that, but I'll still talk to them nonetheless. That strange man who lives up the tower set it up all by himself. He wouldn't let anyone near it while he was working on it. 
You mean the wizard? Is that why the whole town was closed like all day up until like 10 p.m.? I bet so, huh? Anyways, let's talk to, uh, okay, we already did that. Okay, that's good. What about you, Caroline? I get scared very easily. I'll leave the haunted maze to the younger people. Wait, how old are you? You're just going to leave it to the, the literal kids, I guess, because you're like my age. <laughs> Vincent's upset that I won't let him go into the haunted maze, but he's just a little boy. Well, he, he's going to have fun over there, I'm, I'm sure, right? Like, 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 like let, let him go over there and get spooked and pee his pants a little bit, right? You know, get some life experience. <laughs> Getting them ready and prepared for real scary things, right? That'd be pretty interesting. <laughs> Anyways, Pam, what are you talking- you going to talk about, like, the pumpkin ale or whatever? I bet so, right? I'll come to any event with free grub. You won't see me in the haunted maze, though. Yeah, I know, because there's no food over there, right? No food, no drinks. No food- probably the actual sign over there saying no food, no drinks allowed, right? What about you, Gus? It's a lot of fun to cook with pumpkin. It's such an interesting fruit. I- I agree. I have some pumpkins, actually. Uh, just for decoration right now, but, you know, Come Thanksgiving time, I'm actually going to like carve them up and maybe make a pie out of them or something like that, right? That's going to be really cool. Maybe roast up the seeds and stuff too in the oven. That's going to be really delicious. Why, hello, Waffle. It's chilly, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I'm like, it is. The start of winter just around the corner. Brrr. And that's not the sound of a zombie. That's me actually being cold. <laughs> Did I talk to... Okay, I think I talked to everyone over here except for these... Okay, yeah, just Demetrius and uh, Robin. Okay, I think I think we're I think we're done after this. That's good. I haven't seen Maru in hours. I hope she's all right. Yeah, she's kind of stuck in the maze. So uh, yeah, she's fine. Don't worry about. Oh, whoops. I meant to click on Demetrius again right there. Well, winter's almost here. It's a great time to stockpile wood and stone. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's kind of why I wanted to actually upgrade my uh my axe so I could actually use that more often during winter time. Actually, didn't uh did Lewis have anything to say? I hold on. Yeah, how do you end this event? Do you just leave? Usually you have to go to Lewis and then that kind of initiates like a certain ceremony and then that ends the event. But I guess I guess you don't do anything. I, I guess you just leave if you want, right? Oh, we didn't. Yeah, I don't think we had to. Yeah, we had to do it for the fall event because you had to check up on all your items that you uh, presented on the on the on the stand or whatever there. Yeah, I'm clicking on everyone. Nothing. Uh, no one has to say anything except for, of course, Pierre over there because you have to sell stuff, right? But if I leave, is it going to prompt me and be like, oh, you can't can't come back or whatever. Leave the Spirit's Eve event once you do, the festival will end. Okay, I'm going to hit no for right now. Is there anything I might have missed? I don't think so. I did write down one thing in my notes saying something about a maze, uh, but I think we already did We already did that, so I'll have to actually do that again. There's like a little cut right there. It seems like there's something right there, but it's not. Yeah, I don't, I don't think there's, unless there's something to do with a fountain that we could do, I don't know. And of course, we don't have enough money over there to buy the rare crow and even if we, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I want to buy anything else that uh, Pierre is actually offering right now. I'm like, he's he's selling like jack o' lantern, jack o' lantern, like recipes and stuff like that, and and other decorations that we're not going to use until next year. So it doesn't seem ap applicable. Actually, is this like shortcut right here? No, it's not. But yeah, that stuff just doesn't seem appli applicable until next year, right? So I don't know. I, th I think we're pretty much done here. I, I think we're good to go. Everyone's going to be so upset when they finally get to the end of the maze and find out there's literally nothing there. Because I already got the heckin' golden pie. Yeah, speaking of such. Oh, I can't, yeah, I can't even open my, uh, open my inventory in this. Whoops. So, let's just go down, and I suppose we'll just leave the event. I, I feel like we got everything done. Let me make sure. So, we went that way, and then down here just kind of cuts off, right? Yeah, it kind of contains you into here, so yeah. I believe we talked to, and of course, the wizard and the lioness, they're like above the hill over there, so you can't even go talk to them anyway, so I think we're, I think we're good. I think we're done here, so uh, leave the spirits eve once you do the festival in. Let's do it. Okay. Boom. And what do we do? We just appear at, uh, yep, we just appear at home. Okay, cool. And it's uh, midnight right now. Awesome. Okay, so what happens when we do this? Six thousand. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of money. Wow. Yeah, we definitely, we would have had the money to actually get the rare crow there. Man. Ah. <sighs> I know there's people in the comments memeing about me being like an addict or whatever, like a collection addict, just because I'm trying to get all these rare crows and stuff. But man, that was like a once a year sort of thing right there, getting that one. I probably have to wait until next year to get it, right? Golly. And yeah, look at this. We have two regular rare crows, right? Or uh, scare crows. Right? Yeah, see, here are the two rare crows we currently have. <sighs> I don't know. And by the way, it's midnight right now. Is there anything I want to do? And, and do I want to sell anything overnight? I think we have a coffee. Oh, wait, hold on. Yeah, coffee bean right there. Plant in the spring or summer to grow a coffee plant. Please, five beans in a keg to make coffee. Yeah, I do remember someone mentioning something about coffee, and it's like a really good like energy like boost that you can uh, you could use. I think I mentioned it while uh, I think I randomly bought coffee from Gus one time, and then I drank it, and I was like moving around the map super fast, and uh, they're like helped me out, being like, "Yeah, this is how you actually make your own coffee." And then yeah, we got the golden pumpkin right here. It's valuable, but has no other purpose. So 
I guess you guys would be okay if I sold this, but I'm not going to sell until next episode at the soonest. I, I, I just feel like maybe, maybe that's misleading or something like that. I don't know. Maybe it's completely truthful. Maybe you literally just sell that to get money. And you, maybe you only use it to get money, I mean. Maybe you don't use it to, like, trade something. Because you guys did say... What was it? What did you guys say? I, I think I wrote it down. Yeah. The sweet gem berry from last episode. And by the way... Yeah, okay, yeah. This is where we're keeping all the seeds and whatnot. Let's see if we... Uh, okay, there you go. Stack up other, uh, likewise, things. So there you go. Uh... What was I saying just a second? Oh, yeah, this needs light over here. Yeah, I need to, like, place down. Yeah, I do have torches right now. I can actually, uh, I could do that right now. Place them on the table for, like, a candlelit dinner. Oh, wait, I can't do that here. Man! All right, how do I do that? How do, how do, how do I, how do I actually light up my own house? I guess I actually can't do that. Whoops. There you go. Put a, put a torch in each corner-ish. There you go. Put them in my own bedroom. You know what? Right now, like, I don't have a nightstand. Oh, wait, can I not? Okay, there you go. I, I guess I have to do it there. I was about to say I don't have nightstands or anything like that for lamps, so I guess I just place torches next to my bed, but I guess I can't because it's like a fire hazard, huh? <laughs> Either way, I guess we're good to go, huh? Is there, there's nothing else I want to do? I don't think so. And of course, I have to empty out my inventory a little bit in the morning, but uh, let's just go to bed. And by the way, yeah, this is the first time sleeping in the new uh, double double bed right here, queen size bed or king size, whatever this is right here. And by the way, I, I didn't even mention it at the beginning of the episode. The heckin' house is upgraded now. Now we have a bedroom over here and we have a kitchen over there to the left. You guys already, you guys probably already knew that, right? Golly. <laughs> Anyways, let's go to sleep for the night. There we go. Now, is there anything special that's going to happen? I don't know. I'm very curious, though, about the pumpkins. Did we get any gold pumpkins? And of course, we're going to harvest a bunch of bok choy alongside that as well. I hope we did. And of course, I got a lot of mayonnaise sold right there, of course. Uh, like we do literally every day. So we make about a grand every day from mayonnaise alone, which is awesome. Definitely want to keep that up, you guys. Uh, and we do, we did get the heater for the chickens last episode too. So we should be able to get eggs all throughout uh, winter time, which is going to be amazing. Is it raining right now? What is that noise? It sounds like it's raining. It hasn't rained like all fall. Well, it's going to be clear and sunny all day tomorrow, the first of uh, winter. So that's interesting. Fortune teller. And then, yeah, remember. Queen of Sauce, definitely want to check up on the Queen of Sauce every time, uh, every day we can. Except for reruns, right? Because we have the kitchen now. Now we can actually cook all these things that she's going to be teaching us, right? Who? I see a glimmer within my scrying orb, a shard of knowledge from the future. The spirits are very displeased today. <laughs> they will do their best to make your life difficult. Whoops. Then, of course, we, yeah, we have the sponsored Charmin Bear over here. Be sure to buy Charmin brand toilet paper, because I'm sponsored all of a sudden, right? <laughs> I can wish. Someone commented that last episode asking if I was like, uh, actually sponsored by them. I can wish. <laughs> Anyways, let's put up a... Oh, whoops. Oh, no, no, no. I, I was about to say, did it put up the star? But no, it put up the soul essence right there. Yeah, we still have the uh, dry starfish. We need to go give that to Gunther. Uh, we could read about it right now, actually. Oh, wait, no. Do we not? Yeah, I, I guess we already gave him one because it gives us the description right there. If we haven't given it to Gunther before... Yeah, see, there it is right there. Yeah, total found too. Okay, so yeah, I guess we could just sell that, but we're only going to get like 40, so I think what I'm going to do is just like last time, I'm going to hold on to it and then try and gift it to someone as like a random gift and be like, okay, who would like, I don't know, Willie? Maybe he'd like it. Maybe I can give him to a dry starfish and that, that could be a really good friendly gift uh, to give to him, right, specifically. Uh, is there anything else I want to eat? I don't know. And of course, I, I, I wanted to sell the amethyst earlier, but I guess... I, and by the way, yeah, there's the sweet gem berry, if you guys are wondering. So there it is right there. Uh, nothing bad happened to it, which is great. Let's put up that as well. And then we have another frozen tier there as well. Aqua, aqua Marine. Need to go donate that to Gunther. Uh, but we could read about it right now if we wanted to. Uh, then Golden Pumpkin. I guess I'll put that up over here as well. Uh, let's put that right there. There you go. And do I want to... Yeah, you know what? I was going to sell... Like I was saying right there. I was going to sell the amethyst to get money. So I could actually upgrade the uh, the axe. But we have plenty now. We have 11,000, which is amazing. Uh, is there anything else I want to do here, though? Definitely want to keep that. Because we need that to upgrade a uh, thing. Maple Star... Yeah, we need to go give that to the community center. Yeah. Definitely want to do that. Is there anything else that I'll like... Stat oh, whoops. Okay, the iron ore. That's good. Okay, let's grab those ingot back. Stone. I guess I'll put that up right for right now. And I'll put that... Oh, wow. Just like stab my own chest right there. What? <laughs> oh, we have coal over here as well. I guess I'll put that up too. Then, uh, it's still 6.30 a.m. Okay, so that's good. See, whenever I open the chest, it, like, pauses time, so that's great. Uh, there's nothing else here. I guess I could just sell the crab and eat the eat the hazelnut. Uh, I guess that's what I'll do with that. And then, of course, use the... Oh, wait, no, yeah, because it's raining today. I don't have to water anything, right? Yeah, look at that. Boom! Look at all the... Look at all the pumpkins! Holy heck, and we have more honey! Is that, like, special... Fairy rose honey, you guys are right. And by the way, someone commented saying something like, if you see purple on the, whenever you pick up an item there, like a purple background, that means it's like a high value item. Fairy rose honey, that's why we have these fairy rose things here. I assume the, oh, whoa, jeez. 
<laughs> I assume that's why, uh... I don't know, I got so distracted by that lightning strike right there. But, um, I assume these will die at the start of winter, so I guess we'll actually pick these and, of course, give them to people as gifts and whatnot, right? Uh, especially people we know already like them, because I think we had, like, four or five of them from beforehand as well, so... I guess what we could do is, boom, get that, and then, later today, I suppose what we could do is, because these crops are going to be all dead at the beginning of tomorrow anyways, we could just, like, uproot everything and just try and at least get a plan for, uh... Oh, hidden eggplant right there. Get a plan for where we're going to put the sprinklers and whatnot, right? Especially because now, remember, we're at 60... What did we unlock? I think we unlocked level 65. So we're getting, we're getting pretty close to getting gold in the uh, in the mines now, which is great. Or, or can we get gold right now? I forget. Oh, man. I'm, I'm, I think, yeah, I think we still can't get gold right now. I think the gold we got was from, from like, random drops and stuff like that, as well as, like, like... I think we got one from a geode one time. I think we... Yeah. So that's kind of an interesting thing there. And I think we bought like one ingot one or uh, whoa, oh jeez. <laughs> I think we bought like one ingot or uh, one 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 ore one time as well. Uh, but let's get all the, the bok choy down here as well. I guess I used a pickaxe so I could use a little bit faster. But boom, there you go. Grab all the bok choy and grabbing some of the pumpkins as well. So you guys said that whenever I grew, what was it? I think a three by three or like a minimum of two by two or something like that. That something special was supposed to happen. I don't see anything special happening right now, other than, of course, a lot of pumpkins. And, of course, I did that all, like, right next to each other. And you guys said I could do that up to, like, 4x4, four 5x5, four, five five, et cetera, et cetera. But we, we did three or four 3x3s three three of pumpkins there, and nothing special happened, unfortunately. Uh, oh, my gosh! 13 gold star pumpkins, you guys! We're going to the community center to donate every single one of those, except for eight of them. Because I, I want to keep... <laughs> I, only, I only need to donate to uh, five of them, right? Uh, oh, and by the way, I did get a comment from someone asking, Hey, did Waffle donate the five corn? And yeah, I did that a while ago. Oh, wait, yeah, you only have to do one more after this. Yeah, I thought you had to do all four of these, but no. So yeah, we just have to do parsnips next. Ooh, awesome. And then I believe... What was it? Uh, not mayonnaise. What was it called? Maple syrup? That was... Oh, and yeah, because we have money. We could, we could start getting some of these. We could probably do these two bundles right here, honestly. Definitely want to look into that. Chef's bundle, yes. So let, let's definitely get Chef's bundle next. Uh, fried egg. Let, let's actually get fried egg as well. Let, let's go to the chicken coop. And and by the way, we have mail. Let, let's see what this is all about here. Uh, um, hello. Thanks for helping me clear out those monsters. I'm not scared at all, but it should make the mine safer for everyone else, right? Take this blueprint. I hope it doesn't make me obsolete. Clint the blacksmith. New crafting recipe. Geode crusher. Ooh, so we can open up our own geodes now. What? I did not. And by the way, yeah, that's why I was like, oh, no, yeah, hopefully it doesn't make me obsolete or whatever. Where in the world do you life lick? Oh, yeah, I remember. Really. Oh, we could actually make that. Ooh, I should probably get that as like an emergency sort of thing. Like if I'm in the caves and I, I don't have any more food or anything like that, that gives you 200 energy, 89 health. I don't know how much like number wise, uh, health I have, but that, that basically gets you up to full energy. We have 270 energy in full right now. Uh, but where is that, uh, what is it called? So geode, like, cracker opener. And there, yeah, there's the keg. Oak resin, do we have that? Because I remember someone saying, because we, oh, we know, yeah, we don't have oak resin yet, because only last episode did we put up the oak, uh, taps. So it's going to take, what, a week or something like that? An in-game week until we actually get oak resin? So once we do that, let, let's definitely remember, let's make a keg, and then we'll finally be able to get that, uh, what was it, barley or, uh, what was it? Hops. We'll be able to use the hops to try and, uh, make beer or whatever for Pam and actually get this right here. Pam, uh, get Pam a bale ale. Get Pam a pale ale. Golly. <laughs> but we'll finally get that mission done, right? And then, yeah, uh, we have this mission. This happened at the end of last episode and at the beginning of this episode while I was doing off-camera. Uh, so if you guys watched last episode, you guys already saw this. But Marnie wants a cave carrot to give to, like, her cow or something like that, right? Or no, the goats. To train her goats to speak. Which is such a weird thing, but it's her favorite snack, so there you go. And I believe in here, yes. So we do have the cave carrots, so that's good. Uh, let's put up regular pumpkins, regular corn, and a stack. Okay, I think that's good. Yeah, I think we're good here. Awesome. And then gold star, silver star. I don't think there's bronze star. I, I think I've been saying like bronze star this, bronze star that for like, oh wow, we have 15 gold star pumpkins. That's amazing. I think I've been saying like bronze star and stuff with that for the longest time. And I've, I don't know if I ever got any comments being like, you know, there's not a bronze star, right? <laughs> but there we go. 8.40 a.m. I think the, I think Clint opens at like nine or something like that. So we should, we should start, we should start heading over there. I need to slow down when I talk. Golly. 
<laughs> but we should start heading over there right now, and he'll be open by the time we get there, right? So that's going to be good. And then maybe once we come back, we can actually uh, start planning out our farm. And I believe, yeah, whenever it rains, you guys did say, I don't know, a while ago, uh, that the chickens do stay inside when it rains. So definitely want to actually fill this up with food up here, all four slots. That way they could actually eat. And we have the heater inside here, so they should be nice and satisfied. So there you go. Let's actually pet each and every one of them to get their happiness up. What is their happiness, happiness at? Zacha, I think, wasn't Zacha our first white chicken? Yeah, I yeah, Poo, I remember, was the second. Oh, and yeah, then we could sell them. I don't want to do that. Change home building, no. Uh, but Poo's at one heart. Wumbus, I think that was our second brown chicken. One heart right there. And then Memers, yeah, two hearts right there. So yeah, you can see which ones are the oldest ones. They have the, the highest hearts because we've had them longer and of course showed them uh, more, more care and whatnot the longest. But for right now, just because it's raining, I don't have to water any crops. I don't have to cut out any footage or anything like that, which is great. This is what I'm talking about. It hasn't rained for a while. It seems like all spring it hasn't rained. Uh, so it, it's, it's actually kind of unusual that I don't have to like pause and be like, oh, let me water all the crops, you guys. It's so weird. But then again, I guess it doesn't rain too often during fall time in real life. I don't know if that's actually supposed to be accurate that way, right? Oh, yeah. And by the way, I am curious, too. Fairy Rose Honey, how much money do you get out of that? And it is not a community center item, which is good to know. Uh, let's actually... Oh, yeah, I forgot. Um, let's pick these, by the way, because I'm pretty sure these are going to die at the beginning of next season anyways, right? So let's get those all done. And then all these over here, I believe, are already uh, harvested, so shouldn't have to worry about those. Uh, let's go inside here. Let's make... Uh, what do you call it? Yeah, this. I'm trying to... And then uh, let's, let's do that. Hold on. Does it need a large egg? I think it just needs a regular egg, right? Ah, oh, man, I don't know. I think I, I'm going to go check real quick because I have one regular brown or one small brown, one large white. I don't know if the omelet or the, the, the not the omelet, a fried egg. I don't know if the fried egg requires a larger uh, regular or if it doesn't matter. OK, yeah, it says OK, that's good to know. It says any right there. So that's great. So I guess what we could do is get the large egg, go put that in the... Because remember, I think whenever we use a large egg in the mayonnaise machine, we get a gold star mayonnaise, right? Or does it only work when you get a gold star large? I think this regular one should still get us a gold star mayonnaise, right? But uh, now let's just use this regular small brown egg to make the fried egg, and then that's going to be another community center item right there. So we're going to have three things to donate. The maple syrup, the fried egg, and the five uh, gold star pumpkins. It's going to be amazing, you guys. And hey, that's actually decent, too. 50 energy and 22 health, like... Because we have four chickens right now, like, if I wasn't getting a lot of money from the mayonnaise, I would actually consider getting a lot of, like, fried eggs just to keep in my inventory as, like, emergency, uh, sort of. And by the way, where should I put these flowers? I forget. Did I put them over here in the crops? Oh, yeah, I did. Okay, that's what I did with the summer spot. Okay, so I'll put them over here. And the gold star ones, uh, I put up, a. Uh, oh, whoops. Gold and silver star, I put that up somewhere else. Uh, what was I doing? Just, oh, yeah, the mushrooms and stuff. Okay, there you go. Put those up. And I think we're good to go. Mayonnaise, I guess I'll sell that at the, at the like shipping box right there then fairy rose honey i do want to go check up on pierre to see what he's going to offer us for that so definitely curious on what we're gonna oh yeah the lightning happened and then multiple seconds later the the thunder starts roaring in that definitely shows that the storm is moving away from us so that's good because earlier on it was it was lightning and then like instantly boom there's the thunder so yeah you can tell that it's actually moving far further away from us which is good uh or at least that's sort of a thing you could do in real life i don't know if it actually does that in game <laughs> Wanted Slime Hunter to slay f four frost jellies in the frozen depths of the mine. That might incentivize us to finally go back to the mines again to go from level 65 to level 70. 340 gold reward. How long do we do that? Two days or something like that, or does it not matter? Yeah, two days. Okay, so yeah, two days is like a, a standard thing there, but I think we can do it, you guys. Let's, let's check up on Pierre, by the way. Oh, I didn't sell the mayonnaise. I guess I can sell the mayonnaise right now. I think we get the same price. But 680 gold for the Fairy Rose honey? How much do we get for the regular honey? Can I check? Oh, no, because he sells it back to you for a higher price, so I can't actually check. Yeah, and he doesn't even have it anyways. I think I sold him the, the honey the last time, right? Uh, but it doesn't make sense to buy any of these seeds here, especially because we, we already have, like, nine pumpkin seeds right now from the from the, uh, from the the museum in storage. So uh, we already have those ready for next year, so that's cool. So fried egg, no. Fairy Rose honey, I think I'm going to do that. You know what? I think I'm going to keep it for right now. Just in case someone's like, oh, you know what? This person really it's like their actual favorite item to be gifted. Maybe, maybe, maybe it is. And 680 gold, we have a, we have almost 12,000. Do I really need 680 that fast? I think I could wait until next episode and then we'll find out. 
uh, if there's actually a better use for this fairy rose honey other than just straight up selling it. I don't know, but speaking of selling stuff, boom. Mayonnaise gone and gold star mayonnaise gone, boom. Oh, I didn't get rid of the uh, the two mushrooms right there. Whoops, forgot to do that. Oopsie doopsie. But either way, uh, hey, let's uh, let's casually talk to people too. Let's remember to do that. Hmm, what should I do tonight? I was going to dye my hair, but then I decided against it. Yeah, just like last time when I told you to dye your hair pink. <laughs> and you decided against it like right in my face. Pierre, if I didn't have this shop to run, I would be outside. Wait, what? Why would you be outside right now when it's raining, thundering, and rain? I don't know, maybe he likes the rain? Maybe he likes getting drenched and soaked? Can I talk to him again? I can. The leaves look great and the mushrooms are... Okay, I guess that's why he was interested in... Can I talk to him again? No, I can't. <laughs> but I'm like, right now, physically, like, actually right now, it's raining, so you, you kind of not want to do that, honestly. <laughs> and don't we have bad luck today, or at least, like, the spirits are disappointed or whatever? So it is bad luck. So I don't know if it's worth it going through trash cans and whatnot, but I might do that anyways. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, let's go over here. Where was it? We were supposed to go to... Crops are up here, I believe, right? So that, that's, that's up here. Then... Let's see. Yeah, call to crops. Pumpkin there. Boom! That feel, That's so satisfying to do that. Yeah, that's amazing. Fried egg. I believe that and the maple syrup are chef's bundle, right? So that means bulletin board. So let's go over there. Let's go get that done. And then let's head straight south. Or like southeast-ish. Go over to Clint, go to the blacksmith, go get him to start it on our uh, axe upgrade, chef's bundle. Yep, fried egg, boom. Fried egg and maple syrup. So we're halfway done on the chef's bundle. That's great. I don't know, I actually don't, where is the chef guy? Because we're supposed to get friendship with people. I just don't know where he is. Is he actually a, a person here? Or does someone dress up as the chef? Like, 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 does... Pff, I don't know. Does Sam dress up as the chef and he... Well, he doesn't have a mus mustache, right? I don't know. Yeah, see, he's not even here. Yeah, I mean, he is actually not here. What? That doesn't make sense. It says you're supposed to get friendship. But the chef doesn't actually exist here. Unless he's a character from outside of Pelican Town. That's probably it. Maybe he's a character outside of Pelican Town that we're going to meet later. Maybe. Either way, uh, let, let's go down. And then whenever we're done with uh, going over to the blacksmith. Which, by the way, do we want to do anything with the blacksmith right now before we actually... Yeah, I don't think we have any geodes for him to open. And even if we did, we could make our own geode cracker, right? We could open up our own geode. And by the way, yeah, you guys have been commenting saying to go over here to Penny's trailer. Because we're supposed to get like a, a cutscene event or something like that, right? Wait. Or not. Or maybe she has to be home because she's not here. Marcy and the underground castle. Yeah, she must have to be home for the, uh, the cutscene event that you guys are talking about. She's probably with the kids or something like that, right? Well, it's Sunday right now. So that wouldn't make sense. Well, it, it, it actually really feels satisfying that we got that one mission done to kill the, the 50 grubs before Sunday. Like, it feels so satisfying just to have Sunday. It's like an actual day off, you guys. It's so cool. Uh, upgrade tools shop. I am curious, though. So coal is 150. I'm like, I guess I could have bought the coal, but I'm like, it's literally just 10 wood in order to get the, uh, the, the coal in the kiln thing, right? And then that's how you can make the, uh, the what do you call it? The, the, the preserving jars and whatnot, but yeah, I, I feel like the way I did it, even though it used up a lot of wood to get all that coal, I, I feel like it made more sense in the end, right? And we probably got some XP there, too, uh, from cutting down all the trees, lumberjack XP or whatever that skill is, right? Upgrade skill, or whoa, we could go and do a gold pickaxe, five gold bar, 10,000 gold. Let's do the steel axe, though. I'm pretty sure that's what we need to do next. Because you guys have been commenting, like, in relation to that uh, special fruit or whatever we got last episode. What's it called? Like, a something something gem fruit? Sweet gem fruit? Sweet gem berry? You guys were saying that, hey, if you get the steel axe, you could finally open that passageway over by the wizard's tower. And then, like, trade in the sweet gem berry for one of those, like, star fruit or whatever. That's supposed to give you, like, a permanent increase for energy. I think that's what you were supposed to do, at least from what I read in the comments. Uh, so definitely want to get, I'm like, I was already going to upgrade my steel axe anyways, but you guys are like kind of justifying it with the comments saying that thing, right? So it only makes sense. Let's do it, you guys. Steel axe, $5,000, uh, dollar, 5000 gold, I guess you could say. And then five iron bar, we have it. Boom, steel axe. So this is going to be ready uh, next episode, right? At the end of next episode, because it takes two days or something like that, right? I think so. And then, of course, yeah, during winter time should be a great time to actually, uh, as we saw just a minute ago, upgrade the copper watering can, too. Uh, if I actually brought more iron, I could probably have done that. Oh, wait, no, yeah. You can only do one thing at a time. Yeah, I forgot about that. Uh, is there anything I could donate right now, too? Oh, yeah, the uh, aquamarine. Let's do that. And then we'll be able to read about it and see what it says about the uh, aquamarine from our own inventory. We'll have to actually physically go over there, which is good. So aquamarine, where are we going to... Let's put it over here. Seems like we're putting a bunch of gems over here, even though we have a random seed right there. 
where am I going to put this? Where can I put a... Mm, maybe like right there. That seems good. I'm like, everything's kind of spaced out right now. We need to start putting things right next to each other anyways, right? So there you go. And let's go into our inventory. To actually read what it says about the Aquamarine. A shimmery blue-green gem. Ooh. I'm like, you're not wrong. <laughs> that is exactly what it is right there. I thought it'd be a little bit more descriptive than that. Rather than just being like, okay, this gem is blue-green. Let's just call it a blue-green gem in the description. <laughs> I'll, I'll still check out all the trash cans anyways, because I'm a heck an addict. <laughs> but let's see. Anything over here? Yeah, see, we have bad luck. Yeah, I guess we'll just go over to Marnie, though. Oh, yeah, is there anything else we need to do? Yeah, give, give a cave carrot to Marnie. We'll probably be, be able to do this within the next, like, few episodes. Pay him so and get the keg and whatnot, right? To the bottom of the mine. I think that the bottom's, like, what, 120 or something like that, you guys said? So we're, we're over the halfway mark, which is good. And then, of course, yeah, I guess we could spend the rest of the episode uh, slaying slimes and whatnot for slay monsters right there. Uh, all we have to do is, like, kill, what, five, like, frozen slimes or whatever? And we'll be able to get that mission done, so that sounds reasonable. So, anyways, let's head on over to Marnie. I don't even know if she's going to be over there. It's Sunday right now. Does she hang out somewhere else? Because she's closed on Monday and Tuesday. So that would imply she's not home on Monday and Tuesday. But I guess she's home today. Hopefully she is. And yeah, this is going to be the last day. We could actually forge for uh, fall foraging items such as the common mushroom. I guess in wintertime, we're going to have to actually use that hoe really, really often to... Uh oh, wait, what is this? Oh, this is a friendship event, isn't it? Oh, you brought the cave carrot. Oh, wait, no. It's because of the cave carrot. Okay. Well, I guess that's a friendship event, too. Uh, thank you so much, Mr. Waffle. No, yeah, no problem. There, you'll just set it on the ground. <laughs> and she's giving a happy face right there. Cool. This looks great. I almost want to eat it myself. Well, I've got extras at home if you want to eat it. <laughs> almost. All right. Well, prevent your urges from eating the cave carrot that I actually found in the caves over there, like the rotting, decrepit caves, uh, and go give it to your goat. So uh, he'll, like, start speaking English or whatever you want him to do. <laughs> I hope it wasn't too much trouble. I really do appreciate it. I'm like, well, I, had, I had that just kind of laying around, so it's not that big of a deal, Marnie. Don't worry about it. And then uh, suddenly Jazz appears right there. What? <laughs> what do you have to say about this, Jazz? Shane's gone a lot, and Aunt Marnie is busy all the time, so I have to invent my own games. Yeah, well, they're both busy uh, adults working jobs and whatnot. You'll, you'll figure that out here pretty soon, Jazz. Thanks again for helping me out. Hey, no problem. What do you think about the purple shorts that are missing from your bedroom up there? <laughs> do you have anything to say about that? And my goats say... Thanks. Two. Is that how goats sound? I think that's more like a sheep. I don't know. That might be. I don't know. Cut that. Nah. Leave that in the video. That, 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 that sounds like a pretty good meme. Anyways. Supply shop. Is there anything else I might want to buy, though? I don't know. Well, yeah, we have plenty of hay. Heater. I guess if anything, we could get more hay to... Oh, yeah. When... I guess today would be the last day to try and get as much hay as possible. That was like... There was a rhyme in there somewhere, you guys. That was kind of crazy. So I guess what we get, I do have the sickle with me right now, so I could, in theory, cut down a lot of... Oh, wait, no, this is just weeds over here, not tall grass. Yeah, it's just weeds and stuff over here, yeah. Kind of a waste there, unfortunately. Oh, yeah, it's Sunday. Isn't the, uh, the traveling salesperson over here, too, on today? I think so. Yeah, you guys have been, like, roasting me in the comments. Every time I come over here and buy something from them, you're, you're like, Hey, you know you bought that $1,200. Oh, and we could buy an egg for $150, guys. Whoa! We could buy a cave carrot for $400. I'm like, I already have that. Cactus fruit? I don't know if I want to do that. Large egg coleslaw leek tulip lobster bisque pancakes? $900. What? Dark throne. Ugh. I don't know if I want to have a random throne in my house looking like a heckin' king and therefore bragging to everyone. Do not want to brag. I hate that. <laughs> I don't know if I want to buy pancakes just for the memes of it, right? Uh, actually, aren't we able to make them? I think we have the recipe to make them. Yeah, I'm not going to. I don't think I'm actually going to. I'm not going to get finessed into buying anything today, you guys. So, no need to roast me again. Oh, and by the way, yeah. Uh, like I was saying just a second ago. This right here. You guys remember this? This is what you guys are saying. Hey, if you get, if you, if you used to steal axe against that, then you could finally break this open and go over there and then. That's where you, like, trade in the sweet gem berry thing to get, like, a star fruit or whatever. And then you get, like, double or you get more energy, like, permanent increase to your energy or something crazy like that. So, yeah, definitely want to look into that here in, uh, like, next episode, at the end of next episode or, like, two episodes from now or something like that. When we actually do get that steel axe, right? So, either way, uh, for right now, I guess we'll just spend the rest of the episode, like I was trying to say just a minute ago, going up to the mines and killing a bunch of, like, frozen slime. I think those are what they were, uh wanting me to do, right? Slime Hunter Slayer. Yeah, four uh, frost jellies. I guess that's what that is. A frost jelly. I guess it's just the frozen slime. So uh, we should be able to do that, right? Uh, I kind of want to drop off some things over here real quick, though, just because we have a little bit of stuff in our inventory. I guess if anything, I can put the honey up over there, too. Uh, let's put this up. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. 
And I guess I'll eat the hazelnut and whatnot too. And uh, oh yeah, we have torches. I, I, I definitely want to place those down and actually make use of them in the caves. Uh, but it's just right now in the ice part of the cave, it seems like you don't even need to light it up at all, you guys. So I don't know if I actually want to do that. And then yeah, we have uh, we have mushrooms here too. If we want to get rid of those. Yep, yep. And I'll put the fairy, I'll put that in there temporarily. Yeah, let's keep that in there for right now. And then I guess I'll sell the crab, because I don't know what else to do with it. Boom, there you go. Have fun. Sell the common mushroom, sure. Then I'll eat the hazelnut. I'll, I'll, I'll eat it right now, actually. Yep, there you go. And there you go. Eat the hazelnut. There we go. All right, well, let's go over to the mines. Hopefully, we're actually going to come across those frozen jellies or whatever they want me to actually do. Oh, and by the way, I don't, I don't know if we actually, uh... Oh, yeah, then I could. Yeah, because this is like the last day or whatever. I could do this. Just clean out a little bit of this, because this is the last day. I, I guess I'll just do this a little bit. I'm like, we already cleaned out a lot of them relatively recently. And hey, look at that, more pine tar. Awesome pine tar there. And pine tar there. And uh, get rid of some of the stuff here that's blocking the way. Uh-oh, more lightning. There we go, get rid of this trash. Oh, wow, yeah, see, look at all this. Boom, getting a lot of hay. Four hay, six hay. A lot of hay there. But we already have like 400 or something like that in storage. So, uh, like I said last episode, I think we have plenty just uh, for a stockpile for the chickens for winter time. If we had like cows and pigs and whatever else. Oh, and by the way, this thing grew. Look at that. That thing finally grew. I thought that'd be a more special tree, but I guess not. I wonder if we could put a, tr uh, a tree tap on that too. We probably could. You know what? If we come home before 2 a.m., <laughs> I want to see if we could actually put a tree tap on that. What was it a mahogany tree or whatever that is? Maybe get like mahogany sapper or whatever you get out of that. That'd be pretty cool. And by the way, what's Linus doing up here? He's taking shelter under the tree. I don't like to stay in one place for too long. Well, you've been here for like, what, 38 episodes or whatever? So you've kind of been here for a while. <laughs> I don't know when you're actually going to leave, Linus, but I'd hate to see you go when you do. Uh, let's go. Over. Actually, you know what? Should I? I don't, I don't know. I keep saying I keep putting it off, checking up on the and I believe they just opened at like six, right? Yeah, there you go. Let's see. And he's back. Whoa. Let's see if they actually have anything here worthwhile. Pirate sword, cutlass, wood mallet, claymore. Ugh. What do we have right now, by the way? Uh, so we have a crystal. It doesn't say like specifically. Oh, it has this much damage, etc. Uh, Amethyst ring, and topaz ring, weapon precision. What does that necessarily mean? Critical strike chance by 10%. Not bad. Remember, we have two like magnetic rings right now. And then an insect head for 10,000. That really just goes to show how good our insect head is. It costs 10,000 to straight up buy it. And we got it like really early on, you guys. It was crazy. It's that like YouTuber luck kicking in for me, right? And then uh, we have 22 to 29 damage plus one defense for the Templar's Blade. It once once belonged to an honorable knight. I'm like, I literally just said I don't want to have heck and throne and all that kind of stuff. And I'm over here trying to buy a Templar's Blade. <laughs> I don't know. 20 to 32 damage, but you lose four speed. You gain two defense and then gain three weight. Wood mallet there. Which is that again? 22 to 29. So 20 to 32, but that has a lot of downsides there because it's such a huge broadsword, right? Mm, I don't know. Then we have Cutlass over here. Finally crafted blade, a little bit smaller, kind of a medium sized thing. I guess has decent speed. And it, it does give you plus two speed. So instead of losing four speed, you gain two speed with that. So that's good. Then we have a pirate sword there. Yeah, see, these are level two, level three sword. Level 5 sword. I think this, I think the crystal dagger, that's level 5, right? No, it's level 4. Insect head is also a level 4. Ooh. So we could, in theory, upgrade to a level 5 sword here if we wanted. But which one would I upgrade to? And I think we already have sneakers, so don't need to do that. Plus 1 defense. Plus 2 defense from the claymore. I th I just don't like those downsides. Even though we, do, we can do a little bit more damage, I feel like the Templar's blade might make a little bit more sense. I just don't know. And then 22 to 20... Uh, 22 to 29 damage compared to 10 to 20. Yeah, I think that's a good and then because it is a, is, a, is a big sword It should have a decent like area of effect, right? We have we have the money. It's been a while We haven't bought any new weapons like ever right except for like the first time like we bought like a wood sword or whatever Yeah, I think that's what we bought as our first weapon. I think we start out like what? I don't know what we start out with like what a beginner sword or whatever it called it. I Think I'm going to get the Templar's blade. I think I'm going I'm like it's 4,000. That's a lot of money. Everything else is just low level, level two, level one, level three, level four. There's not even a level four here, it just goes up to level five. And of course down here, was the, uh, was it, was the insect head? It's, yeah, it's a level four down there as well. I was about to say, like, maybe we can move from a level four insect head to a level five, but no. Man, I'm so, and we'd be able to actually test this thing out here, killing some of those slimes. Mmm, why was I so quick in buying those rare crows, but I'm over here hesitating buying a new blade? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I I really am an addict. I don't know. Either way, let's do it. Templar's Blade. We have 7,000. Boom. I just bought it. Okay, so there we go. 
Let's test it out. Let's actually put the insect blade or insect head on a different row here. That way I actually do have to, and let's put that there. There we go. So that way I actually do have to use the Templar's blade to test it out. So real quick. Oh, wow. Yeah. See, look at that. Just like the insect head, a nice area of effect right there. Relatively fast too. Not bad. Not necessarily as slow as I assume the, what was it? The claymore would have been. So that's good. And we got a plus one defense too, which I assume. Yep. By blocking. Cool. Definitely want to do that. You guys. Basically full on energy. Don't have to worry about that. Let's go down level 65. Awesome. Let's go down here and actually start killing some enemies. Try and kill, uh, what was it? Five. By the way, there's nothing down here. Okay, whatever. <laughs> I wanted to kill five, uh, what was it called? Frozen, no, no ice jellies or whatever they called it, I guess. <laughs> Let's see if we could actually find the way down, because, uh, yeah, thankfully this isn't one of those where it's like, okay, you have to kill all the enemies, because, okay, there you go, boom. And we have bad luck today, too. So, yeah, we actually found the way down relatively quick right there. Okay, so this must be, let's actually kill this guy, and, oh, wow, it actually gets uh, pretty fast right there, too. Okay, yep, that did count. One out of four already. Great stuff. Great progress. I, I do want to go up here and actually get this. What is this? What is that? Oh, another aqua. Okay, cool. Awesome. So we can actually get multiple of those things. And by the way, why is there a torch there? What? Oh, that must have been there before. I was about to say, like, yeah, remember, we did find torches in, in caves before. I was about to say, like, I haven't been here yet. I didn't place that torch. <laughs> Unless that's, like, copying the torch that I placed down, because this is, like, a copy paste from an earlier uh, level. Just as, like, themed to be, like, snow-themed or whatnot. Oh, wow. Killed, like, a bat or something right there without even trying. That was, an, like, an accidental kill. I guess I could ignore that. Wow, look at all these guys. I don't know if I can get a bunch of XP. I'm getting a little... Oh, what is... Was that, like, a rock... Like, a rock mimic or something right there? What in the world? By the way, might as well get more uh, iron, too. So there you go. Just because I'm, like, it's relatively easy. It's, like, right there. And we got eight iron ore right there. Amazing. Let's see. Wow, really peaceful music playing right now. And we have another way down. Awesome. Loving this music. Nice, peaceful music. Doesn't really fit the heckin' caves, though, I'll tell you that much. Do we get a ranged weapon? Other than, of course, the slingshot? I don't know if we ever do. Because like, I'm like, that ghost is so annoying with how much he gets kind of knocked back. I'm like, it's annoying for me because I want to kill him as fast as possible. But at the same time, it's kind of convenient because he kind of gets out of the way for an extended period of time, which is great. Uh, so there you go. I don't know if there's anything worthwhile down there. I don't know. I'll let the ghost catch up with me, and if he does, then I'll kill him. But uh, for right now... Oh, yeah, look at that. Boom. Yeah, frozen geo there, too. Look like there's... Oh, wait, no. I think it's just random rocks on the ground getting magnetized to me because I have the, the magnetic rings and stuff like that. That might be what that is. I thought it was like a random, like, rock creature, like, lunging towards me trying to kill me or whatever, but I guess not. Let's get some amethyst. Maybe give that to uh, Abigail later. There you go. And watch. We're probably... We have, like, eight amethysts or whatever. If we give her all the eight amethysts, which we could only do twice a week, but still, if we give her a bunch of amethysts, she's going to, like, shoot up. To the top of our friendship list and penny's going to get left in the dust it's going to be crazy <laughs> but uh, let's keep going around down here try and find the way down we're at 68 right now which is good because 10 30 right now we actually have a lot of time until uh until i want to leave and i, I want to leave relatively early because i do want to uh i did want to do something earlier on i forgot what it was i literally just mentioned it and i can forgot what it was uh but let's keep exploring around try and find the way down as well as trying to kill enemies down here too yeah see there's a bat right there yeah, and by the way, oh wow, we got another Omni Geode. Might want to actually look into how to make the our own Geode Cracker, and then of course put the Omni Geode through it, and then see what we get out of it. That's going to be great. And yeah, once we get the actual Geode Cracker thing, man, it's going to be amazing. Because you guys know how many times I've struggled trying to like get over to the blacksmith before he closes at what four, which I'm like in in reality isn't really that like earlier or whatever. But whenever you, oh whoa, a backpack. Ooh, should I lose that? Oh, a bunch of coal. Wow, six coal. Don't mind if I do. Uh, but yeah, I'm like, whenever you're, you're, you're watering crops and whatnot, taking care of chickens and going to the mushroom cave and all, you know, by the time all that's done, it's already like like noon or like 1 p.m. or something like that. And then, of course, I have to do like my intro and talk and yab about what I did the episode before and all that stuff. <laughs> and it's midnight right now. Hold on. How many of those slimes did I kill? Just one? Yeah, still just one. Yeah, they must be relatively rare. Golly. Guess we'll have to continue this next episode, you guys. God, man. I guess, uh, because I do want to leave here. So another uh, frozen tier right there. I do want to leave here and actually get a, a preview of what's to come in wintertime. See, okay, there you go, golly. And see what, uh, see what it just physically looks like during wintertime as well as, uh, oh, more uh, frozen slimes over there, cool. But uh, I, I do want to get a sneak peek. Oh, wow, three, uh, two of them over here. So we're going to go up two, three, that's good. Boom, got them. And this one down here, got them too. Okay, 1240, kind of want to start leaving. Kind of want to start leaving. Nothing there. Okay, let's go. I don't know if... Do I want to leave now or do I... Don't want to get... Uh, we have... We're going to lose $300, so... 
If I'm not careful, we're going to lose a lot of money. Let's just leave. I don't. I, we have a pretty good streak of not falling asleep on the way uh, on the way home. So you know what? Let's just hurry back home. We left at about one ish. It's one ten right now. We should be able to make it back. I just won't have enough time to do whatever I wanted to do. When I mentioned, oh, I want to leave the the caves a little bit early so I could do this or that. Whenever I get home, I can't do that. I don't even remember what it was. So, <laughs> either way, let's just head down. One thirty. As long as it doesn't hit one forty before it hit this uh this, this transition right here, we should be good. Oh, it did. It hit one forty. Oh man, this is gonna be close, isn't it, Golly? I might fall asleep like in my actual house because my bed is a little bit further away now too. One fifty. Ooh, this is gonna be close. This is gonna be close. Am I gonna fall asleep right next to my bed? Is that gonna be a meme? Boom, we made it. Go to sleep for the night. Let's heck and go, haters. All right. Level 9 farming. Amazing. And we got an iridium sprinkler recipe. Awesome. And quality fertilizer. I think we had to buy that beforehand. Seed maker and then plus one hoe proficiency and plus one watering can proficiency. Amazing, you guys. Awesome. That's probably because of all the XP I got from harvesting all the pumpkins and the bok choy earlier in the day, right? I can only imagine how much XP we got from that. Golly. And it was killing, uh, not killing. Jeez. <laughs> Selling a bunch of random trash there, a random uh, mushroom and a crab there. Yeah, see, we, we already sold the uh, the mayonnaise uh, to Pierre earlier in the day, so uh, we already got that money. It's not going to be added up at the end of the day, right? Like, anything like that, all right? But what's happening now? Well, we got three out of four. We just have to kill one more and we'll have that mission done, but do you guys hear that? It sounds a little bit like winter outside. Let's see what it looks like. I'm excited. Let's see. How much is it going to show? <gasps> All oh, that is absolutely beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. Snow absolutely everywhere. I was I was kind of expecting like oh like yellow you know dead grass or whatever right, but no there's actually snow everywhere and yeah look at all the crops completely pummeled over and dead. Definitely want to use this opportunity now that everything's kind of reset to kind of plan out and actually start crafting sprinklers for the upcoming springtime right. And uh, look at that, we have a we have a frosty like scarecrow right there. How fitting. I kind of want to move him to a more centered location, but wow. Look at this. And then look, look at that, we have worms in our base. How many times have we had, whoa, we got snow yet. Oh yeah, that is how, I don't think I mentioned it yet. That is apparently how you get foraging items in wintertime. Pretty sure that's what people have been like commenting in the comments like, hey, if, if you want to get like foraging items for wintertime, you have to look out for heckin' worms. And boom, we saw them right there. We got snowy am. I think we already had that early. I think I already gave that to the community. Wait, no, I didn't. Wait, what did I give to the community center then? Because I know I gave them a winter foraging thing already. Yeah, okay, yeah. Wow, we just need the crocus thing, and then we have the winter foraging done. And that means we have the whole entire crafts room done, you guys. Bridge repair. We're going to finally find out what happens over here at this cookie, I believe. I might be still once again completely talking about a completely different bridge or something like that right there, but I'm pretty sure. I don't think anyone's corrected me right there. And yeah, look at that. It's been a while since we had a thunderstorm. We have another battery we got right there. I don't know what to use that for. Maybe I'll sell it or something like that. I don't know. But I do want to go to. Oh, what in the world is this? Uh oh. What in the heck? Yeah, I'm confused. Exactly, self. Golly, what in the world was that? And by the way, there's more forging things like right here. So I, get, I guess you can get forging things just kind of out in the open like that and and also in worm things too. So I am very intrigued to find out like what in the world is going on now that we have this weird like figure walking around town or whatever. But wow, Pelican Town during winter time, absolutely. And look at this, we have a Christmas tree over here. Oh my gosh, everything, and everyone's got like, there's like a wreath on that person's door and there's like, uh, whatever this is kind of wrapped around the, the like light pole or whatever, whatever right there too and there's Marnie Let's see what she has to say about winter time. I love animals. Mr. Waffle if you try. Okay. Well nothing new. Okay <laughs> We have a wreath right there and I believe Leah's house had like skeletons or whatever in her window for decoration and Look at that. She's candy canes and like you could actually see through her window and see a Christmas tree right there So cool. And what is that? There's like a heckin Thing right? What is that? Is that a reference to something? Is that like a Dr. Seuss Grinch like meme there? I don't know. I, I'm kind of getting some vibes right there. What is that? that that's that got to be a reference to something. I don't think her, her chimney always looked like that. Pretty sure it looked at least relatively normal like that or like like that. I don't think it looked like some weird like squiggly green chimney like that. <laughs> oh, hey, is that who's that? Is that Penny? What are you doing? On the 25th, we'll be having the Feast of Winter Star. It's one of my favorite events. 
Aw. Hopefully we'll spend it together, right, Penny? Best friend? <laughs> it's supposed to be a time to show gratitude to all the good things in your life. But for most people, it's just a time to relax and exchange gifts. Okay, so that's supposed to be Christmas for this game. Yeah, it's on the 25th. Yeah, definitely makes sense. You know what? Go ahead and by the way, worms right there. And by the way, all the stuff I'm doing right now, it doesn't matter anyways. I'm going to redo it at the beginning of next episode. But, oh, what was this? Oh, it's just new uh, things right here. Okay, so wizard right there and then, uh, uh not Gus, uh, Gunther over here. Oh, yes, yeah, literally says right there. It literally says their name at the bottom. <laughs> I'm over here trying to guess their names and stuff, but it's actually on screen. M. Rasmodius for the wizard guy, though. Uh, but we'll, we'll look into this a little bit more uh, next episode. Fragments of the Past and then Curious Substance. Well, I'll, I'll count. Actually, you know, if you guys are experienced and you guys know what these missions are, uh, let me know in the comments down below which one should I actually do. Curious Substance or Fragments of the Past. Because uh, I'll read into that and get in a little bit more detail next episode. But for right now, I'm just kind of walking around, kind of soaking in all of, of what Pelican Town during winter has to offer because it is absolutely beautiful like I've been saying. Another worm. Look at how obvious the worms are now, you guys. The snow. Is that it? I think we have everything now. So we have snow. Oh, wait. No, I already had that. I think, yeah, I think that's all we were missing, right? The crocus thing? I think so. Crass room? Yeah, so look at that. Boom. Next episode. Well, next episode, I have to get the crocus and then the snow game all over again. But still, Next episode, we're going to donate these and then get the whole craft room done, and then we'll get the bridge repair. We'll actually go check out what that cookie is next episode. But until then, thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, wow, look at George and uh, Evelyn's house right there. And Pierre's shop too, super beautiful with these decorations. But if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And while you're down there, be sure to ring that bell so YouTube sends you a notification as soon as the next episode of Stardew Valley comes out because you guys are not going to want to miss it. We're starting winter time. We're starting a new season. It's going to be so exciting, exploring all the new stuff. And there's worms right there, too, I missed out on. Yep. Uh, winter Root already donated that. But it's going to be so exciting going through all the new stuff, starting to plan out for springtime with all the sprinklers and whatnot. It's going to be really cool. Don't know if we'll still be able to get stuff out of the taps and stuff over here, though. But uh, I think I said you should be able to, but uh, I guess we'll just have to wait and see if that's actually the case. And of course, yeah, the chickens. I guess I can close that now, right? Uh, the chickens should be nice and warm inside here. Yep, look at that. Boom, the heater is working. It's, it's bouncing up and down, showing that it is, it is heating up the chickens and keeping them nice and warm. So that's great. So they can incubate all their eggs and whatnot, even though those are most likely unfertilized anyways, but either way. Oh yeah, look at this. The uh the the, the little plant tree thing that's like next to our house that always like changes with the changing seasons is now like a, a bear tree or a bear plant or whatever. It's just nothing but twigs right there. That's really fitting. Either way, I already did the full outro right there, so let me actually go down here to to, to Frosty a Snow Scarecrow. <laughs> do the outro here so i already did the outro right there so thank you guys all very much for watching and i'll see you guys here next time with some more stardew valley oh bye there